in the previous parts we actually talk about fibers and it's uh, how fibers are being draped all right into fabrics or some woven type of stuff okay so now we're gonna talk about matrix all right so remember fibers is stiff stiff means high modulus or high young modulus for polymer matrix it is ductile all right or elastic so it is a low young modulus all right remember that so in this video we will talk about the types of polymer matrix that is being uh, discussed in this um, in this context and its properties where the properties itself will be explained in subsequent videos so in this video we only give you a summarized form of what type of polymer matrix are there and uh, the, the, the other definitions that may be fairly useful all right then after knowing all this, then we will go talk about selection criteria. So let's start. First point and the second point, I don't think I'll need to explain, but I'll just go on to the third point, which is this one. All right. And also using this flow chart. So the matrix materials can be set in terms of a thermoplastic or a thermoset. Thermoplastic by itself means that you can reshape by the name of plastics. So you can reshape it once you heat it. All right, like your acrylic. Or acrylic normally you you put it under the fire. All right, then you you melt, and then you can start to bend here and there. All right, so it's the same thing, lah. Hey, damn it, hold on. So in this our <coughs> sorry in our context, we will not talk about thermoplastics because we are talk talking about more on, uh, really applying engineering stuff. So, by itself, you know, thermoplastics the the heat, all right, is a problem. So it's it's not something that, is is real. I don't know, but anyway, so we will not talk about thermoplastic. So more, 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 you know, we are talking about the set, which is uh, not very heat, uh, so what somewhat heat um, influence, not influenced by heat, all right. Although in to a certain extent, the thermal set may be influenced by heat, it may melt or whatever, but at least it don't bend shape or whatever. Anyway, <coughs> so our focus is on thermal set now, and yeah, and there is five types, all right, and these five types they say is that. Uh, different thermoset resins resins uh, means that it is matrix all right matrix material resin is a word to is a is a commercial term to describe matrix if you still remember okay so therefore um, different thermal resins and uh, their manufacturing methods all right where the manufacturing methods are open or closed molding all right and we will be discussed in the uh, part two of uh, maybe most probably next lesson or I mean really seriously next lesson lesson four in this lesson is lesson three so we are still talking about matrix the, the very basic stuff only all right so if you don't know anything about this uh, next week or right, next week then we we'll talk about that so uh, this these are the five types deposits polyester phenolox and uh, gel coat whatever they ask you why the why is the matrix and its benefits Alright, the matrix is to maintain the structural integrity, alright, and also to provide environmental protection for the reinforcement which is the fibers, okay, and the choice is dependent on mechanical, thermal, and chemical, alright, and, um, and its processing methods, and permitted costs, alright, so I'm talking about costs, alright, permitted cost is allowable cost. Or right, your your money restraint things like that. All right. So I don't need to explain thermoplastic and thermoset. All right. So uh, so over here this is the comparison between thermoplastic and thermoset. All right. I'm not going into details, but uh, take note that the thermoset, all right, uh, do not soften. All right. If you if you try to uh put the thermoplastic in like above the fire, you will start to um melt a little bit. And you can reshape it, right? You soften and eventually melt. All right. Well, for the mouse set, it don't soften. All right. And upon heat, all right, it will char. The word char means that it will partially burn. All right. Partially burn means it chop da, like a roasted chicken. All right, chop da. But the fifth term is that it's a chemical process of incomplete combustion. All right. Uh, that's all. The rest you can read it up. I think it's quite simple. And then uh, it is less soluble in organic solvents. All right, what is organic solvents? Organic sol solvents are known as carbon-based solvents. All right, and it is capable 
all right, of dissolving other substances. All right, and ca you can see is talking about in terms of, he says is in product like detergent and perfume. All right, so when you spray, when you put a detergent inside your washing machine, all right, the detergent will start to dissolve all the dirty, dirty dirts, all right, all the odors, everything, all right, so that it will it will make your clothes um smell nicer because it it will already um dissolve all your uh smelly stuff, all right. So therefore, um, this is organic solvents. So in this case, the thermal set is actually less soluble in in this type of solvents, all right. So not not saying that you are trying to put the thermal plastic inside your washing machine but something like that if you take a look there is this button over here if i press or well, go to page 60 yeah there are actually two types of physical properties of a polymer chains all right so we are talking about the plastic thermal set or thermal plastic i think polymer because yeah all right yeah there is two types linear and cross link all right where linear is for example if you were to push this chain or if you were to push it all right it will move its position to here you see it has, it has moved quite significant amount of distance all right so they are actually not uh, somewhat um, linked together so it's not cross link meaning link cross link between this and this so they are not cross link all right so um, one thing is that um, when after heating your linear polymer it will still remain linear all right as for cross link after heating i don't know whether is it still remaining uh linear but uh yeah for you to find out <coughs> so likewise um i mean in in um as for cross link <coughs> on the other hand all right is that you see over here the bonds can be a cross link they are they are merged together so if you want to push this particular uh, polymer all right as you can see if you push this all right this thing over here will, will, will start to being pulled so there are there are um, somewhat mole molecular um, connections are pretty tight okay however this doesn't mean that cross-link polymer is strong or right, I don't know whether is it in our context or what but what I read in websites it is not possible to make a statement which of which is that linear or cross-link polymer is stronger. All right, it depends on all this stuff. All right, so it doesn't mean which one is stronger, but it depends on this. All right, so um, this allows for for linear polymer. All right, which is the the top one where when you pull, when you push certain certain chain, this this one is called one chain, or right, a chain of polymer. Alright, so if you were to pull them, alright, normally they are actually also uh, short. Alright, as it says, do not contain long chain. Alright, so uh, the application is that uh, because they will just slide past each other, they will not connect each other, right? Because they are not entangled, alright, as, as the word entangled. Because as you can see, if you were to push this, or right, this is independent of this, right? And this is independent of this, they are not together, they are not cross linked, right? And therefore, um, which means that the firm, in firm applications, the polymer can be cast into thin frames without losing strength. Alright, so what is film? This one example of film manufacturing. So uh, you are doing a uh, somewhat like a film, and uh, other pictures are this. Alright, so for for this type of polymer, alright, uh, it is it is really good for for film uh, applications. So I think linear polymers are thermoplastic while cross-link polymer are thermosets or after I read this or it's because one of the main properties of cross-link is that they tend not to melt at high temperatures alright they simply become somewhat softer and eventually burn okay sorry <laughs> so I think cross-link is thermoplastic this is ding ding, I don't know <laughs> sorry I take my bad words alright but cross-link polymers is exhibiting this type of uh, uh, chains alright and uh, the chains can be stretched which cause them to flow past each other so each of them as I say is chains so you can just uh, stretch them all right, but they will not uh, return back to its original form they will not all right. and uh, over here selection criteria I'll talk about in the last part all right. so we will skip this part all right. and this comes into others, other materials for the thing 
So all in all, this is almost there already. All right, this is just a, a quick review on the structures. All right, so we're talking about a thermoplastic understanding and thermal set. All right, and also the the linear polymer and crossing polymer. And uh, these are the five materials that we'll discuss later on. All right, see whether can I put them together or not. All right, and just to touch on, all right, cross links are characteristic property of thermal setting. All right, so talk, talking about cross link, you're talking about thermal setting. All right, this is yeah. Linear and branched polymers can be reprocessed upon heating and are termed thermoplastics. Uh -huh. So definitely, then we know that the linear one is a thermoplastic, the cross link is a thermal set. Uh -huh. Then, after, before I go, is that open or closed molding? Let's take a look. So let you know that uh, it was exposed to open environment. For open molding, is when you pour the molten, you're just exposed to an open environment. You just let it cure itself. For the close uh, mold, you have to pour the the thing on top, as you can see in the picture over here. All right, so it will fall on top over here, and then you will flow down. Eventually, you you cure, and then you take out the the whole mold. All right, so these are the two differences. All right, and the next video we'll talk about this five stuff. All right, and before, if you want to go, you can go down. If not, then you can just stay a little bit more. Let's take a look on something that is not relevant to this course, but. The polymer structures that are different. I mean, yeah, you can take a look now. Or you can just leave the video if you want. Let's start this now. as it says over here you see make it very strong extremely long chains make it strong so a longer chain of polymer is always quite strong all right so over here as you can see all along right, these are all the, the simplest uh, plastic chains so right, they are all linear thing yeah but for you to think about it but nice music lah so um, i think this is it and see you next video